Hey, Earth Signs. This reading is going to be for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo placements. Thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to check out the collective reading. You may um, resonate with that too. There was a lot of Earth in that reading, but it was for the collective. This one is for Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Sending you guys love, light, and positive energy as always. This is Goddess Meek. Let's go ahead and get some messages from your person and see what the weekend vibes are. What is going on between you and the person on your mind or the person you have on your mind? Yeah, the person you have on your mind or who is thinking about you. <laughs> holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, give me a clear and concise message from my Earth Sign loveys. Thank you so much for your divine hand of protection over each and every one of us and giving us messages of clarity, truth, love, and spiritual guidance. Show me. For the earth signs, what is that person feeling toward them? What's going on? Okay. We got, I don't know if we will ever change. We are reminiscing. I miss our inside jokes. Soul tie. I always feel connected to you. I'm really getting hot too. So I feel like there's a lot of chemistry here. Strong connection here. Soul contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. Okay. Let's get two more. Daydreaming. I'm always longing for you. We're going to find out what happened between you and this person. So it can give you a better idea of who this is. The stress from this is draining me. So somebody could really be thinking about you a lot, okay? And this person feels overwhelmed by the thoughts of you. Let's find out how this person is doing. Let's tap into the overall energy of this reading, okay? Let's get a little bit more before we get into the tarot. How are you guys doing today? I hope everybody is feeling blessed and operating at their highest frequency. And if you're not having your best day because of these situations, sending you love, light, and positive energy. And know that whatever is being cleared from your path doesn't deserve you. And there's something better, a lot better, that's going to be replacing it. So, release. No worries, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Gods, Universe, show me clear messages. What's the overall energy? What's the overall energy resonating with these cards that are on the table for my Earth signs? Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo placements. <clears throat> What's the overall energy? <clears throat> Somebody is keeping a close eye on you, always watching us. Earth signs get spied on the most, I feel like. Jeez. Somebody is watching you or trying to keep up. Somebody could be watching your page, seeing what you're doing. Somebody is thinking about you a lot, feeling guilty because they feel like they sabotage the connection. Not really sure if you're going to accept them back in your life. They're not even really brave enough to come towards you i feel somebody is just in their head a lot daydreaming and reminiscing about you i don't see this person taking action yet but the tarot will tell us what to expect from this person somebody could literally just separate it from their person like yesterday or something or earlier today it's like 9 p.m here <clears throat> somebody's feeling rejected by you Although they always feel connected, you definitely um, <laughs> shut the door on this person, rejected them in some way. And somebody is really feeling the pressure of that. Somebody is feeling rejected. <clears throat> somebody is definitely wishing for you saying that you're their wish. Soul contract. They're saying the lessons that I learned from us will never be forgotten. They're saying that they asked for somebody like you. You're the type of person that they were dreaming of, but they were just too immature, irresponsible. They couldn't keep this up. Whatever they did, it was just something very silly. Them taking this relationship and this connection for granted, whatever it was. Oh, they were keeping secrets, operating in their shadow energy. Somebody could have been very egotistical. Somebody could have just cared about themselves a whole lot more and not really considering your feelings. This could have been an earth sign, another earth sign. So you could be dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. All right, let's get into the tarot and see exactly what's happening. Somebody definitely let their ego and pride get in the way of this connection. Also, they're letting their ego and pride get in the way of reaching out to you because somebody really deep down inside wants to talk to you, but they're not reaching out. This person isn't speaking up. They're not saying anything. <clears throat> 
Let's get the cards and find out what is going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, show me clear messages. Let's clarify this reading for the collective. <clears throat> Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Show me what they need to know about this person. I don't know if we'll ever change. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all about that one. So I don't know if we'll ever change. This person is keeping an eye on you. They can't stop watching you. Maybe they're talking about as far as keeping tabs on each other. Or maybe they're feeling like they don't know if you'll ever forgive them. And they don't know if they'll, I don't know, get the nerve to come towards you. Somebody is just so embarrassed about whatever they did. So I is shy a little bit. And they're also... Somebody knows how intuitive you are also. So they know that you're not the type of energy that they could just come to any kind of way. I feel like they've been called out on their crap before. And they, they're very leery to just come up to you and know that they're not prepared. All right, let's take a look at habits. Habits and spy. What's going on here with this spy? Somebody's trying to be strong. <sighs> trying to get away with something. And they want an equal give and take. Six of Pentacles. They look at you as a blessing or somebody is trying to get them. Okay, so. It looks like in the past. I don't know if we'll ever change. <sighs> Both of you guys could have been sneaking around. But I feel like this person is the one who got caught. Or somebody is sneaking around with the Seven of Swords. Like, just trying to get away with something. And I feel like they leave evidence. They're very messy. Something sticks out like a sore thumb. It's like they're not hiding anything from you. They didn't. They got caught really quickly. It's just like somebody's a sloppy cheater or thief. Whatever they're doing that was deceptive. <clears throat> I feel like it had something to do with talking to other people. This caused a lot of arguments between you. People could have been coming at you, asking you questions about this person, calling your phone, or anything like that. This also could be some type of arguing that you and this person did. I feel like because this person is so sneaky, like this person is very sneaky. And I feel like this is another reason why you, you hold back from them. <laughs> Also, this person could have been trying to pretend that there's something that they're not. This person is very sneaky about how they go and spy on you. Somebody could literally be watching you out the window, watching your car, coming to your neighborhood and sitting out there watching. Somebody could be planning on stealing from you or it's something like that right here. Somebody feels like you're more blessed. And it's like when you're not looking, somebody spying on you. Like, trying to get away with something? <clears throat> they trying to be strong here? I feel like somebody was stupid. Like, they cheated or they lied or they tried to pretend like they don't have other people or other options, but they do. This could literally be somebody stealing. Show me one on the Seven of Swords. the empress somebody tried to get away with having another counterpart so this could be somebody who was married and hiding it male or female all right reminiscing i miss our jokes and feeling guilty <laughs> this person feeling in despair they feel like they ruined everything y'all like they really do for taurus capricorn and virgo energy you could be dealing with the water sign or you're dealing with somebody who just feels really sad and down in the dumps. I feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with another earth sign or water sign. One of my Taurus caught somebody cheating. Show me five of cups. Yeah. The lover situation. Somebody sad. Somebody felt like they were in alignment when they had you. And they're really stressing about this. Somebody also was sad because they did, they couldn't convince you to be in a lover situation with them on the side, even though they had another person. <laughs> Somebody is stressing, okay? They're really stressed out about this. <clears throat> Show me soul tie and rejection. Somebody feels rejected, but they say they're always going to be connected. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. Or I could be talking to my Libra. 
Well, no, this is an Earth sign reading. So somebody could be dealing with a Libra. I feel like you feel like it's justified to block them out. Somebody feels rejected. Or maybe this person made you feel rejected. <sighs> Somebody was kind of like in their ego. It's like just because you gave them attention, it went to their head. And this person was like saying all kinds of stuff and just acting really weird. I feel like this made you look at them like out the side eye. Like <laughs> annoyed side eye. Like <laughs> I know you're not. I know you're not even playing. Right? Because I feel like you could have looked over this person's flaws or whatever the case may be. And all of a sudden, the energy that you bring to the table literally gave this person a boost of confidence. And I feel like whatever they did, they they acted too quick. Like, it was stupid. Um, But you rejected this person and you're getting justice. Some of you guys are single and available and feeling really good. With the justice also, somebody wants you to make a fair decision and give them another chance. Somebody wants to plead their case. Because right now they feel really defeated. <sighs> Somebody feels really defeated. And they, they were very underhanded about how they were moving. I also saw a Capricorn. I saw the devil. Gosh. I saw the sun. Look. Somebody is saying you make me so happy. Positive energy here. Somebody could be dealing with a fire sign. But I don't think so. I feel like this. It, you could have a child with this person. A fire sign child. Or Libra child. But somebody is happy. Somebody has their kids. They don't want the confusion. Somebody is just like, I'm good. I'm chilling over here. Um, somebody also could be saying, like, I'm thinking about you passionately. I always think about you. No matter what, we're always connected to me. I like, they feel always connected to you or something like that. Somebody has a very strong feeling that you belong in their life. But they ruined it. So, you're not, it's like you're not forgiving this person. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh, but you're not forgiving this person. Somebody's trying to, it's like they're going back to the drawing board to try to figure out how to get you, how to bring you back. The artist card is somebody who's very creative with what they say and what they do. Like, they know how to manipulate the energies to get their way. It's almost like the magician. Knight of Wands <laughs> and the Ace of Wands. Somebody really wants this. Somebody wants an opportunity with you. Somebody is so sexual towards you. It's really annoying energy because it's like <clears throat> this overwhelms them. And this is what makes them, it's like they're not thinking right. It makes them more aggressive and more upset when they can't get you to give in. Like, so it's like go away with that type of energy. So they know you belong in their life because this is a soul contract. Um... And with that being said, you guys definitely are supposed to learn something from this encounter or whatever you had for the moments that you had it. You were supposed to learn something about you and boundaries, yourself. You're supposed to learn something about yourself, your confidence, lowering your standards and boundaries, right? And this person was supposed to learn about self-control and also appreciating people's worth no matter how they've been treated in the past because this is somebody who... People usually do this person wrong. And because you weren't like that, they got a boost of confidence, a boost of energy, and then they turned on you. It's like they switched up the game or they weren't grateful for the very thing that they wished for. And this person was asking for a soulmate just like you were. It's crazy how you ask for something and you get what you ask for and then don't know what to do with it. Look at this person, Knight of Cups, thinking about you all the time. This is a love offer. If somebody wants to offer you this cup, wants to bring you back into them, this person is really sneaky about how they watch you. So watch your back. <laughs> Look around you when you're coming in the house and stuff like that. Like, I'm not trying to put you, make you scared. I don't do that kind of stuff. But I'm just saying for some of you guys, this person literally is fine on you. You probably already know. <clears throat> daydreaming i'm always longing for you showing you daydreaming <laughs> but you're guarded because this person is a liar it's like <laughs> you're in your moon energy you can daydream all you want somebody knows they're in dark night of the soul so this person is doing all kinds of stupid actions and you don't have time for that what's in this cup that they're offering my earth signs what's in this cup being underhanded so this is manipulation like they're trying to sweet talk you when they know how they are so somebody's trying to pretend like they're some kind of way but they're not like that somebody's offering you friends with benefits king of cups 
being sneaky, being a smooth talker, very charming. <laughs> Somebody has stronger feelings for you than they than you think they do. But they're still not offering anything stable. They're they're not. They're not thinking about that. The stress from this is draining me. So somebody is somebody is choosing to think about you. <clears throat> the chariot. They want forward movement. <laughs> somebody is trying to get the nerve. Like they're they don't have the nerve. Like somebody is trying to get the nerve. They don't have the confidence to come and actually face you and talk to you. They don't have the confidence. So somebody's trying to get the nerve back up to approach you, talk to you, or whatever, express themselves. The rejection drains them it's like they this is what's draining them because you won't let it easy you, you're not making it easy for them to get back in after they got kicked out and you shut the door now they're struggling to get the door back open to come back in and that's how it's supposed to be that's karma all right yeah <clears throat> six of swords you're moving on to calm of waters you're like i don't have time for this i just don't i don't have time for this Right? So you're moving away. You don't have time for that. You're not entertaining this person's shenanigans any longer. Okay? you like, you can feel how you want. I really don't care. I'm not dealing with it. And I feel very strongly that you're right for that. You've already read this person. You know how they are. For some of you guys with this five of swords, they actually got rude with you. Got disrespectful. Like I told you, the rejection makes them aggressive. They get mad and start... It's like this person, how old are they? they it's like they're immature. Show me one card for my earth signs, please. <clears throat> All right, it's two, guys. Initial spark. So here they are. Always in your energy. Um, there is a potential in a per there is potential in a person or situation to develop into something in the future. How you approach it is up to you. So you can take a chance on it if you want to, but the universe is just telling you that this opportunity is there. This person's not going anywhere. They actually love you, but they still are only offering friends with benefits. So what is, how does that work? Like what? I feel like people do that to them. Like they don't want anything serious with them. <laughs> I'm so sorry to laugh. Like it's something wrong with this person. And I feel like that's why they, they, they're reacting the way that they are. Like they're not used to people genuinely liking them and being kind to them and not really expecting anything in return, but they blew it. The path to love. It says your divine soul partner is searching for you and soon you will both find each other. Stay the course and have faith. All right, my loves, that is your message. Thank you so, so much for being here with me. Look, last but not least, invest your attention into things that support, nurture, and challenge you in a healthy way to help your soul bloom. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here, my lovies. If you want a personal reading, book it at Closer, the number two, mydestiny.com. I will see you guys on the next video. I'm going to be posting your individual signs tomorrow. Thank you, my loves. Bye.